welcome to all of you in teaching junction channel in this tutorial we will learn how to make these multiple column graph and multiple bar graph in microsoft excel in previous video we have learned about the simple bar graph and column graph in this video we will learn how to make multiple column graph and multiple bar graphs let's start in this tutorial I have already entered the data about the area and production of cotton in Punjab. First column shows years, second one shows area in acres and third one shows production in bales. So first of all I select this data, go to insert tab, select insert column or bar chart. And select first one so before I edit I uh, make second graph go to insert insert column or bar chart select this arrow and insert this one So we have uh, made two graphs, first one is multiple column graph and second one is uh, multiple bar graph. So we start editing uh, these graphs. First of all, I uh, select this title and edit it. Uh, you can note that when I uh, write uh, this title here, uh, in, it appear in formula bar. Then I uh, in, uh, click on enter and this will appear in this place. Area and production of Click enter. Go to home. Select color and uh, sixteen. I bold it. So I need a uh, transparent background. Hence I remove these lines. Select these lines. You can see when you click on this line, these are selected and small dot appeared. Uh, press backscape. These lines will be removed. First, uh, I will uh, uh, fill different color in these bars. When you select uh, on this bar, you can see that all bars uh, of the same color will be selected. When you uh, click on this bar and this bar will be selected. So first of all I will change the color of this bar. Go to format. Shape fill. I will change it to green. So its color change to green. And next shape outline I want that and the border of this bar should be black. Black. Then I select the width it's uh, one and a half shape effect I will select this one similarly uh, I will select this shape go to shape fill and select red shape outline black then shape outline weight one and half and uh, shape effect i will select here 3d rotation so 
so I uh, preset will be fine I think so I will select this one as I previous selected so it uh, give 3d effect next we uh, formulate the axis select this and this rectangular appear when we click on this right click and go to format axis you can see here that it is the minimum value and maximum value these are the value which will appear on axis minimum value 0 and 0 appeared here and maximum value is 4000 and it appeared here if I change minimum value to 500 you can see here uh, 500 appear instead of 0 so uh, you can also adjust the unit major unit 500 minor unit 100 here you can see 500 um, unit appeared here if you change this then this label will be changed so i want uh, i go to tick marks i want that uh, tick marks appeared on the axis outside on the axis so major tick outside minor outside then i go to fill and line option i want that the uh, solid line should be appeared on this axis so i select black line and width of line 1.5 so i format uh, this axis then i select this one and tick marks outside and go to fill and line option solid line color black and width 1.5 and we have successfully formatted these axes now i want to change these font and color and to 12 black color similarly black color the legend you can also change the location of legend either it is top bottom left right whatever you want you can also change its font size it's to 12 i want to bold it You can also uh, change the category in the reverse order. If I check it, you can see uh, its axis is reversed. From here, you can see the label options and distance from axis. You can also control. So finally uh, we have made this graph if you want that the powder should be appeared on this graph then you can click on format shape outline and this one if you want transparent background then it is fine if you find if you want some texture background then you can go to sh shape fill and 
texture and you can select here there are two options appeared when you see here this is the chart area when you click on chart area you can fill the this whole section if you select this plot area you can see here this is the plot area and this whole is chart area if you select only plot area then this texture will appear only here so similarly uh, i have formatted this graph you can format this graph according to all uh, these instructions and it is your assignment thanks for watching this video and uh, in future video i will uh, teach how to make 3d graph using microsoft excel thank you goodbye